Hey guys, Zaphonix here, and I do apologize for not making a video in a while, it's been pretty busy. You know, as you see in the background here, I'm no longer in my original room, I'm actually in a new room, <laughs> my new room of my new house, so um, I'll go ahead and give, guys, uh, give you guys the tour later on. So, um, that's what I said, the tour, you know, emphasis on the or. Anyway, so, um, let's go ahead and check some things out. I got a couple of questions here, I want to do a couple of new things right now. Talk about some news that's recently been available. So let's see here. Um, open up my inbox here and see someone who told, asked me some news. Ah, so I got mouth death. Mouth death. You know? Well, I don't know why he would actually name himself that, but okay. Um, he says this. When DC Universe Online, uh, excuse me, when will DC Universe Online comes out? Uh, answer that question really fast. They have not stated exactly when it's going to come out. But it said it's going to be first quarter of 2011. Take that, it's, you know, take that for what it's worth. And he said, when you choose uh, magic and summoning creatures, like the Grand Summonings, uh, Summon Guardians, Summon Fury, Summon Watcher, and Summon Life Crystals, do they stay by your side the entire game? Um, it's funny you should say that, because actually magic so far has been one of my favorite, um, my favorite uh, origin stories right now. So I'm enjoying the magic very much, you know, of course, I have, um, I actually, what I actually do, though, is I actually have a character, and what I did was I, um, I mixed the character with, um, how do I put this, how do I put this, I, okay, I'm, I'm a big fan of, um, Captain Marvel, right, so what I did was I went ahead and took Captain Marvel and added a black guy to it, and you know what I name him? Black Marvel. Yeah, I know, slightly racist, but hey, what you gonna do about it? So anyway, um, so yeah, I got Black Marvel here. And um, basically, he is uh, a magic user. And so, what's going on is this: um, Do you get to keep those? The answer is yes and no. Um, summon life crystals, I believe you do. But when you summon creatures, no, you don't. Um, the only summoning I have used, though, um, one hundred percent, is the grand summoning, which actually summons three different creatures at once. Um, and let me tell you something right now: they actually do a good amount of damage. I love having those creatures around. Every time I think, okay, you know, things are starting to get rough. Like right now, I just hit 23, which means that um, not only if I got my original Iconic Powers, but I got my secondary Iconic Powers. Uh, for those who don't know, as I stated before, Iconic Powers are basically powers that mostly the superheroes um, have, like Wonder Woman, Batman. For example, my character is a mix between um, Superman meets um, Captain Marvel. So I have the eye beams, the uh, cold breath. I have, you know, all, I have a, a sonic scream. You know, I have different things like that. And now with the... Um, with the new version, excuse me, with the new, the second tier of Iconic Powers, now I have basically a, a lot of defense. Basically, it came with a lot of, um, basically, you can hit, um, it's going to take you like twice as, um, twice as long to hit me. So, um, to answer your question though, no. Now, the summoning actually does, it lasts for about, I would say, um, maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes. And then after that, they do disappear. And for the grand summoning, it does take a while for it to come back. But you're actually summoning three creatures, and they do a lot of damage. So, you know, it's actually pretty good. So, especially if you're in PvP, you might want to keep an eye on that. Um, let's see, what else? Um, any other questions that I have? Oh, TimmyTube asked you to send me a question. That's actually my cousin. Uh, who says um, he wants to congratulate me on my, um, on my new place. It's similar to his, but he doesn't. Except for I don't have a fireplace. That's true, I don't have a fireplace. It'd be nice. Maybe I'll get one of those fake ones just to, you know... Anyway, uh, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll get like a big monitor and sit it somewhere and just have it, uh, have it play like a constant fireplace or something like that. I don't know. So, something for kicks like that. Anyway, so he says um, he's about to get an Xbox 360, but he doesn't know which one to get. Um, so basically, it's like this, man. Um, there's only one out there, and that's either you're either going to get a used one or a new one. I advise you getting a new one. I. I would never advise anyone getting an, um, an old Xbox 360. Um, it's okay to get an old PlayStation 3, and then even then, even then, as of um, due to recent developments, that may actually not even be wise either, um, because I've noticed that a lot of um, PlayStation 3s uh, from different friends are starting to indeed break down. So I would advise um, getting a new Xbox, um, and then pretty much that's that. Um, the Xbox S is while you know. They do have their problems. All systems have their problems, but the Xbox 360 S's have a lot less problems than the originals. Now, granted that you know, as you know, I step, I pointing down here at my Xbox. I still have my original Xbox. It works perfectly, but at the same time, that's because I have a job, a wife, kids. You know, I 
don't have time to sit there and play on my Xbox 360 all day, all night. So, you no, know, my Xbox runs without a haste. You know, I'm going to get a new version because the fan is absolutely horrendous, and I'm so tired of um it being so damn loud. So I'm going to get a new one anyway. So plus with the Wi-Fi and all that, so I'm going to be getting that. So that's pretty much an answer your question. You might want to consider getting uh, the new uh, 360s version. It's smaller. It's a lot less, you know, a lot less noise and a lot less chance of you getting the ROOD or RDOD, you know? I mean, granted that I have not seen a lot of um, uh, a lot of mm, complaints saying about the RDOD, but you know what? Why bother giving the chance, you know? You know, I mean, yeah, it's great to get it and all that, but the thing is is that if, uh, I'd rather just get the new one. That way you ain't got to worry, uh, it's a lot less worrying about that particular situation. Um, and that's that. Um, so, okay, so we've um, pretty much, that's pretty much it in my inbox. Um, I got about a couple more minutes. Let's talk about some news. Um, let's see what's going on in news here. Um, oh, here's some interesting news. Did you guys know IGN actually bought GameStop? Now, for those who don't know, let me give you a little bit of history on GameStop. GameStop used to be Funko Land. Now, I know that if Teeny Tube is uh, watching this, he's probably laughing right now because he remembers Funko Land. Funko Land was the first of its kind. Remember what Play and Trade is now? That's what Funko Land was at that time. Basically, you can go into Funko Land and you can uh, play uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo games, PlayStation games, and you can actually go ahead and play them. You know, right there, just play them, have fun, whatever. And, you know, they stopped doing that, but Play, play and Trade does that now. Um, so they turned their name into GameStop, and, you know, I think they turned it into GameStop at the same time when they bought, um, was it Babbage's, I think it was called? And I think it was Babbage's. And uh, EB Games. I think, you know, all those three combined into GameStop. I believe that's what it was. You guys, excuse me if I'm wrong here. Um, but at the, um, so now all those things combined to GameStop, and now IGN is also, um, mer I'm sorry, merging into GameStop. Now, merger, you can't really use that word. You got to use that word extremely lightly. Because in most, in most cases, that doesn't even mean what it's supposed to mean. It's just a good way of saying we bought your ass. I mean, who bought who? I don't know. I tell you this, though. I know IGN makes a lot more money than GameStop, I believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But, so what would these companies get out of this? I have no clue. Honestly, uh, in terms of IGN, what would IGN get out of this? I don't know. I have to think about that for a second. What would GameStop get out of this? Um, more traffic to their website, for one. Um, but honestly... Both of those particular sites, um, ex you know, they pretty much show a lot of ignorance, in my opinion. They are both the worst, so not the worst, but they both are, eh, so I guess they're match made in heaven and whatnot. Um, what else? Uh, GT5 has a new um, patch now. Why? I don't know, but they have a new patch now. I mean, I'm just saying it. I'm going to get into that. Never mind. Um, aside from that, speaking of, um, there's also a patch for the PlayStation 3. It's actually a security patch, so nothing to um, nothing to upgrade your system whatsoever, but just something to protect Sony. Um, Sony Online Entertainment has announced the agency is um, going to be released um, in the second half of 2011. So for those who don't know, second half of 2011, that's not fiscal, that's regular. So that's what, um, between April, May, June, and July, somewhere between, between there. So... Um, between that and DC Universe Online, which is also coming out, Sony's actually looking to hit the MMO, um, and they're hitting it hard, and they're hitting it hard, and they're running with it. I mean, it's just so far, so good. Now, as I said before, I've already started playing uh, DC Universe Online. Hopefully, I'll get the agency. Uh, I will be showing you some DC Universe Online very soon, in terms of, like, literally almost in 24 hours, so stay tuned to, um, stay tuned to this channel. You'll check that out. Um, and... That's pretty much it. So yeah, um, let's see what else here. Um, I also got news about Connect selling faster than the iPad, but we all expected that. Really, we all did. Uh, so that's about it. That pretty much wraps up this episode here. Um, so let's see. What is the question for today? I always put out a question for today. I guess the question would be the whole IGN and GameSpot merger. What do you think about that? Who do you think comes out on top? Hmm? Who do you think comes out on top? 
Let me know what you guys think about that. Who do you think gets the best bang for the buck because of that quote-unquote merger? You guys have a good night. Zeph out.